Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Murray Mint. If you haven't been here before, um, please give the channel a subscribe. Um, so it's a bit of a weird, weird video for me to do tonight because it's not um, one of the normal type of videos that I do. But I think it's a it's a video that needs to be done. Um, it's to do with Madonna. Um, before we start, for anyone who knows me knows Madonna is the queen and um, she always has been and um, I was at the girly show and um, in the 90s and I have been to every concert since and um, every tour since not every concert and um, and I am I have tickets for the Madam X shows so I just want to basically talk about what has been going on with the Madonna fans and the Madonna Madam X to a situation. Let me get closer. Let me read you something that was said last night on one of the Facebook pages. It basically says, You so called Madonna fans blasting on her since the three shows postponing announcement. You really need to take a chill pill. You whining like someone is stealing your money or what? You were never going through cancelled flights, cancelled appointments. If no, then grow up to a real world. And she didn't even cancel the show, she postponed them. Big deal. 99% of us have no idea about production set setups. This is her first time venues like that shows. And for your information, it's nothing new in the industry. That musicians, MJ, JJ, MC, you name them were and are postponing again big deal some of you calling yourself die-hard fans are being arseholes to her right now okay first of all i would class myself as a pretty die-hard fan um and i know several loyal fans along the way and um, most of the people that i've met who love madonna would defend Madonna to the death, probably. Um, me being one of them, you know, whenever anyone has a bad word to say, I'm always first to jump to the defence of Madonna to um, try and, you know, say how amazing she is, what she's done for the LGBT community, all of that. Um, I'm the first to praise Madonna. I love Madonna as, you know, but something has gone wrong with Madam X and the tour. First of all, I just want to say that um, on a personal level, um, I was going to New York for opening night. Now, I live in the UK where it was difficult for me to get a ticket um, to, you know, get the money to get to New York for the experience of an opening opening night and um, but i did it i am um, because it's an amazing experience and um, i wanted to see the show before anyone else and um, i wanted to be you know um able to tell all the people who weren't at the show what it was like and have a review a vlog about it and um, so as many of you know the show and uh, the first three shows of the tour have been either cancelled or postponed so unlike that statement that I've read out yes one show has been cancelled but the other two have been postponed and um, the one that I was going to the the original opening night was being postponed to October the 10th which is just not okay and um, basically I've paid for flights and um, accommodation and um, I'm disabled so I've had to get um hires like scooters and ways to get around new york because um it's not as easy for me to kind of go around and um and walk places and get the subway so a lot of planning had to go into doing that now obviously there's a lot more people worse off than me but um to say that we're just being arseholes is a little bit unnecessary and now i totally agree that things can happen and go wrong and things 
don't always run to time. Um, but this this isn't the first time that this sort of thing has happened. Me and my friends, stupidly or not stupidly, because we really love the experience of opening night, booked to go and see the opening night of Rebel Heart. And the same thing happened again. We were so reluctant to do it this time, but we thought because it happened last time, like things will be put in place to make sure it didn't happen again. MDNA, which was a huge, huge tour, was, in my eyes, much bigger uh, venues, stage, um, special effects. Um, it just looked a much more bigger production. Now, that production ran, ran to time and it was um, ready for show day. And I, I can't understand how a theatre tour isn't ready. And, 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 you know, our Queen, Madonna, is a perfectionist. You know, she would want everything to be right. And I don't honestly think she would let this happen um, knowingly that it was going to happen. So something to do with Live Nation um, or Guy Osiri, who is Madonna's manager, um, need to come out and clarify this with the fans because the people who spend thousands of pounds, and I mean thousands of pounds, to come and see um, the first three shows in America, who are not necessarily from America, they're from Europe. I have saw um, someone from Brazil is... is um sold his car so he can get to new york and now he he isn't going to be able to come back uh to new york to see the postponed show neither of neither am i because I, I like i say i won't be able to do that for someone to turn around and say that we are just being assholes it's not and not an attack on madonna this um it's not an attack it's just basically justifying why we're so upset now there's been a lot of talk about credit um, about insurance but in the UK we don't have insurance um, to uh, if a concert gets cancelled and um, also um, we we have insurance if you're not well or if something happens and um, a bereavement and um, then and of course I was insured I, I am insured and um, but I'm not insured for Madonna to cancel three of her shows at the start of her tour now, some fans are going to react to this and be like, it's your own fault, you, you should have re read the small print. Yeah, of course, I, I did read, you know, I, I fully understand that things get cancelled. But what I'm saying is, that doesn't stop being disappointed, upset about losing the money. And I'm sure you can agree that no matter how big a fan you are if you work hard or if you're using savings or you're borrowing money off people to, to go and see um this legend that if this gets cancelled this show then of course it's a natural feeling to be upset to be bashed about being upset by other fans it's pretty bad because I'm sure if if those fans lost thousands of pounds, um, of you know of their own money, they wouldn't be happy too. So just let the fans vent their anger. Um, not I'm not saying direct the anger towards Madonna, because like I said, I don't think this is her fault. Um, I think this is something to do with Live Nation and also. We've had such good treats for, from the Madame X era. We've had lots of videos. We've had some great performances. Um, personally, um, merchandise, I buy the vinyl. Um, but I know a lot of other um, Madonna fans have been really disappointed with the way that the whole uh, dispatching of the merchandise, especially the, the vinyl... The cassettes not being not working, um, not even having any tape in the cassette, and um, a lot of damage being happening, um, in transit, with all of the vinyls and, um, also t-shirts not actually looking like 
what they um, were on the screen when you bought them so not a totally different sort of look um, for instance there was one t-shirt that was the whole t-shirt was the the picture but when it came it just had a little square on the t-shirt um, so yeah so what and also I know so many people that haven't got their merchandise yet and it's been months and um, also the the pride and um, the pride t-shirts the pride t-shirts were meant to come before pride uh, a lot of people who went to New York pride wanted those t-shirts and they didn't get them but yet you could buy them in New York on pride day and um, that to me just doesn't seem fair for loyal fans um, now let's be honest Madonna's fan base is shrinking for many reasons um, but what this has essentially done is made her loyal fans who have paid the extra money to go to opener nights to buy the packages to buy the hotel and, and ticket packages it's really annoyed and upset them um, so I don't think this is going to be good. A lot of people have already unfollowed um, on Instagram and also um, the ones that were going to the show. The opening night on the 15th aren't going back to the postponed gig. So, you know, there's only so much out fans can defend the Queen. Um, but, you know, we haven't had a proper apology. Um, we've just had an, a statement asking us to be patient um, because Madam X wants the show to be perfect. Um, I get that. I do. I want it to be perfect, but, you know, at the expense of five, day, four days, um, it's totally, totally put a dampener on the whole era for me um, I know a lot of fans are going to be totally against what I've just said and that's fine but I feel like I need to explain to you guys why a lot of fans are upset um, it's because it's two weeks before the show and things can't be changed and people have lost money now people are worried that other dates are going to be cancelled uh, which looks more likely. Um, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's hope we get a bit of a, a, a statement from Gaia Siri um, and or Live Nation. Um, as for the Queen, you keep rehearsing, you keep, get your show perfect because I can't wait to see it eventually. Break leg and I hope. I hope I don't get trolled too much for this, but, um, yeah. Cheers, guys. There's only one queen. That's Madonna. Yeah,